Well, I'm back. Back in the saddle again. The reason why I'm back is because I had a short brake pause because, well, I broke my camera and I get a new one. And that's why you haven't seen me in a little while. Some of y'all probably heartbroken, some of y'all probably not. No big deal. Now, since I got a new camera, I, I'm a lot happier. I feel like I'm back to normal. Um, after you, you do this a while and you take a break from it, you get like this kind of uneasy feeling. Which, you know, no big deal, but you know, I'm back, so it doesn't matter. Now, as of right now, you can tell it's nice and breezy. The wind's blowing really good. You know, it is what it is. Ball's here. Uh, we got a huge warm front coming in for one day only, and then after that, we're supposed to take a roller coaster plunge downhill. And uh, right now, it's about 70, 75 out here. When, when last I looked on the weather, when they said wind's about 25, 30 mile an hour from the southwest. I had to give me some tea. I'm out of my small bottles. So I got me a big bottle that's left. A big bottle, about like a half gallon. Maybe a gallon, I don't remember. Let's see. Let's see, I think it's a gallon, but I could be wrong. Yep, one gallon. And, uh, yeah, I like my tea, what can I say? Now, as far as going to market, this would be two weeks I haven't been to market. I went three weeks ago, but this past weekend and this one coming up, I haven't been. And the reason why is, is some of my stuff isn't really up to par for being ready to be bottled and labeled. Of course, I had no more labels. So I had to get some more. Um, but I also in the process, I'm going to pre-order my labels for this. My, my bottles, some of my bottles as of right now says made in 2021. Well, I'm going to change it to 2021. So that way, whenever I, the market, the last day for the market is November 1st. And then I think it starts back in March or April. I don't remember exactly. I think April is when I think it starts, but I could be wrong. But that gives me enough time to get everything I need worked on and critiqued and set up and all my labels set up and, you know, bottled and everything else. No big deal. Now, here lately, I've been working on making pie candles. And uh, I'm going to make two this evening and kind of critique how it goes. Um, my stuff still needs improvement, but as of right now, I'm just I'm just trying to, you know, see where I fell at, so that way I can critique it to make it better. Now, my bee supplier lady, she's out of business till next spring, so me finding beeswax bars is going to be really difficult because a few people that I do know from the market that does sell honey. Uh, they don't want to come off the wax, which, you know, that's fine, you know, they use it for something else. But, um, I wish I could get, you know, at least a few more bars. Um, but, you know, beggars can't be choosers, so you just kind of got to take the way it rolls, and there it is. So, but I am going to work on a few other idea, crazy idea things I'm going to work on. Um, I saw something online a few minutes ago, well, 30 40 minutes ago and uh, got me thinking and I might try their I might try their process so um, patrons can see how it rolls and how it turns and you know go from there but anyway um, yeah I mean I do small things on the side you know I spend a little money I make my money back and then some so, um, you know, that's the way a capitalism is supposed to be, you know, spend a little bit, make a little bit. But um, I don't, I don't overcharge like a lot of people do. And uh, I try to keep things at a fair even price. You know, I make a little bit off my stuff and, you know, I mean, I'm, I do make a small profit, but I mean, it's not, not it, I'm not like, you know, making a 30% markup or a 50% markup. I make like maybe 
a two or three percent markup and that's about it and I'm happy with it and there's a lot of people I know they're like well why don't you charge more well I could but I don't want to I'm happy where I'm at and you know I sell my stuff and people get a good quality thing and you know everybody's happy so why be a cheapskate over you know being happy but anyway this coming weekend I'm going to the woods I, 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 I might do a little digging out here in the woods but I'm going for one reason only right now all these leaves are still on the trees now sassafras is what I'm looking for and um, I want to find the small trees of sassafras so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get me some tie strips or bread ties I want to call them and I'm gonna go through the woods and I'm gonna mark all these really small sassafras trees and the reason why, excuse me, I got a yard coming. <sighs> the reason why I'm going to mark them as of right now is so that way when all the leaves fall off the trees and all the sap from the tree goes straight back into them roots. And when I do go back out in the woods, I'll be like, oh look, there's one of my marker ties. Oh look, there's another marker tie. Oh look, there's another marker tie. And I can go out and I can dig up these little tree roots. And I can keep everything I want, you know, you know, classified, you know, you know, this is my sassafras root. So later on this mid, early to mid to late winter, I can have me sassafras tea all winter long. And I, I mean, I don't fix it all the time. Uh, maybe, I don't know, eight to ten times in the winter. I don't need a whole bunch because once I boil my roots, I just pull them out, I let them dry, and then um, I can get like two, two to three uses out of a, set, a, a, a good thing of roots, and uh, which, you know, you know, it saves, it saves a lot of sassafras trees from me having to dig them up and use the roots for tea, but at the same time with, with how I use my roots, um, I get multiple uses out of it, so it, it, it's not going to waste, and I, you know, I, I get to enjoy the the sapling of the root, and um, you know, makes me a great tea. I'm a. I started doing sassafras tea. Well, I was probably when I was introduced to it. I was probably about 12, maybe 13. And my grandmother picked some. It was in winter time. And she put like a little dab of honey in it, stirred it up, and it was like a hot tea, and it was great. So, and that's why I like it. Now, I have chilled it in the refrigerator, you know, put sugar with it. So when it's hot, stir it up, put sugar with it. Like I said, put it in the refrigerator, let it sit for about 24 hours, taking it out, poured it, and it makes a great cold tea as well. Um, but the hot tea is actually a little better. Has a bit, it has a bit more, I call it spice, but flavor. Um, but you know, to each their own. I mean, I like it hot. And I like it cold. I, I, I really, I like it hot. Don't get me wrong, but I really like it cold because it's just like a regular tea, except for you know, if you're already warm in the process in a hot house and drink hot tea, it just you know, it just makes it kind of overkill. So, but uh. I got some killer ass walnuts in my walnut tree over here. They're nice and big, so I'm gonna break them down. Hopefully, if they fall here soon, I can pick them off the ground, cut the meat off of it, let them air dry, and then I can spend, you know, a little while cracking walnuts in the house when it's raining outside or it's cold outside. And I can dig out the, the meat out of the cracked hole piece. You know, that'd be great for me, something to do. Because I, I have some friends that enjoy, uh, you know, fresh picked walnuts, like the black ones. And uh, I'm not a big walnut person, but I know people enjoy it. So, you know, then, you know, it's something to kill time with and, you know, it gives me something to do. But, yeah, I mean, there's, I was planning on making some salsa for my tomatoes in the garden, but I think I picked all my red ones and I gave them a bunch of them away. And uh, I got some of the house I can work with, which, you know, it won't really be 
a quart jar, but it might be a couple pints. So I, I might do that this evening. And uh, then on top of that, you know, I got to come out here and finish picking some stuff and getting it, you know, set to the side and uh, basically get ready for what's to come, which is winter, and I'm not ready for winter. I don't mind fall, like right now, this is perfect outside. I'm out here in a t-shirt and, and bibs and uh, in direct sunlight. I'm not sweating my ass off. I mean, it's, it's warm, but you know, I'm not sweating my ass off, which I enjoy. But um, the bad side of it is, you know, if you go into a creek right now, man, you're gonna freeze your ass off. That water can be ice cold. And, uh, you know, I did have a pull up most, most of the summer. We, we got into it some, not much, which, you know, I guess it's okay, I guess, but I'd, I'd rather jump in a creek somewhere and, you know, go to town in a creek and, you know, hell with a swimming pool. Mmm. Almost like tequila. I was going to take and drink a tea, and my leaf came out. So I gotta stick my leaf back in my tea, push it back down there. Yeah, I know. Trying to compare a, a mint leaf to a tequila worm, but you know, about the same concept. But this is gonna be a quickie video. I just wanna let you know I'm back. You know, my like I said, my camera got broke, so I got me a new one. And uh, I'm definitely gonna go in the woods this weekend. I might I might not dig very much root at all if any at all uh, now i am going to look for some blood root uh, in this one spot because uh, i want to dig as much of that up as possible bring it back home and replant it so in the spring when it comes up and it goes to seed i can eventually i can cut that little seed pod and i can start saving seed from blood root and uh, yeah it'll be, it'll be great because uh the root sells for about I think it's like eight or ten dollars a pound dry, but I can sell the seeds for more. Than I can I can sell the root for, and it's crazy. But you know, if it works out that way, so be it. I got about about eight hundred ginseng seeds in the house. I need to plant. Um, I got all kinds of uh, flower seeds, which I'm gonna plant. Well, I shouldn't say I'm gonna plant. I'm gonna sprinkle the seeds amongst certain areas around the yard like so to say because uh, I'm working on right now clearing a corner patch of the yard on the other side of my yard um, and I'm getting it cleared out and cleaned up and the reason for it is because that's where I'm going to stick two beehives I've already made my mind up I'm going to do it um, I'm getting two hives to start out with and um, if I get honey from it great if the the, if the beehive decides they want to swarm and take off somewhere, you know, great. You know, you know, that's a lesson learned. You know, I'm I'm doing this um, because I can use the wax from the beehive, and then on top of it, um, well, I can enjoy some of the honey, and I can sell some of the honey, and it'll be just it'll be that much more in my pocket later down the road. Um, but, like I said, this is my little hobby farm, and I'm going to do everything I can to minimize and exceed everything else. So, when I get a battery, battery, a better battery charge on this, I will be back. I will talk to you more about everything I have. I have a list in the house I'm going to go over. And, till then, have a great Wednesday and let me download this and charge my battery and you'll see me again this evening so i'll see y'all later